hate them, some people love them. But what exactly is a spider? Well, this is a spider. Not a spider. Spider. Not a spider. This is a harvestman, or a daddy long legs, which is in the same class as spiders, arachnida, but they are in a different order. All arachnids have eight legs. This is in contrast with insects, such as this crane fly, which only have six legs. Tarantulas are spiders, but you won't see them in the wild here. Since they are large though, it is much easier to see their anatomy. Their tiny waist is between their abdomen, here, and their cephalothorax, which means head chest in Latin. The cephalothorax is where you can find their jaw-like chelicerae, which hold their food and contain the venom that the fangs administer to their prey. The two appendages that look like short legs are their pedipalps, which they use to manipulate their food, as well as for grooming, reproducing, and eating. These are analogous to the pinchers of scorpions. All their eight legs are attached to the cephalothorax with claws at the ends to grip with. Most spiders have eight eyes, but they can have six, four, two, or even no eyes at all. Wolf spiders hunt at night, so they have cat-like eyes to see in the dark. Jumping spiders and other daylight hunters have the best vision, almost as good as humans. Jumping spiders, so named because of their jumping ability, directly stalk their prey instead of making a web, like this zebra jumper. Even though jumping spiders don't make webs, they still make silk. Silk is produced by the spinnerets on the back of their abdomen and can be used to make webs, leg lines, cocoon for their eggs, and to wrap their prey. This spider mom just laid eggs and is guarding them carefully. So the big question, why are they in my house? Some spiders, called house spiders, are adapted to the low food and water conditions inside, so they live happily in your home their whole lives. You may also see more in fall as males come inside to mate, but not to escape the cold as is commonly believed. Now you're probably wondering, are these spiders poisonous? Actually, none of them are. Poisonous animals are harmful if ingested. Venomous animals are harmful if they bite you. All but one small family of spiders is venomous, but only a few spiders are what's called medically significant, which means their bites can hurt humans. No spiders are considered deadly. The only medically significant spider in our area is the black widow. Bites are often misdiagnosed, and harm or death from a spider is extremely rare. Studies show that most people are less afraid of their bite and more afraid of their so-called legginess. Well, spiders will always have eight legs, but there are still many reasons to keep them around. They kill the pests we don't want, like this invasive stink bug. They are an integral part of many ecosystems serving as predators that keep prey populations in check. A lot of the fear of spiders comes from misconceptions. Hopefully this video helps you to get to know them a little better. And maybe next time you'll opt for a cup instead of a newspaper to get rid of them.